Hey gangsters, guess what time it is? It's time for a mukbang. I'm Ghetto Mama, by the way, aka Leslie Singh. I have another channel, but today I'm in a much better mood than I was in last night. Yep, I'm feeling a lot better. But anyway, I'm on my front porch and I thought I would give a change of scenery. I don't think I'm going to do a mukbang tonight because I'm having the same food I had last night. How boring can that be? But I'm having today, I have some Philadelphia cream cheese spread and um, it's supposedly got jalapenos in it. And I got to put this down off to the side. And I got a plate of um, cherry tomatoes and some um, celery and some little carrots, which I sliced in half because they're kind of hard to, to eat. And this is what I'm having for my lunch. I already had some trail mix. These are hard to chew up. With my big teeth, you'd think I could just chew them all up. I've got to move my tripod a minute. It's so bright out here, I can't really see the screen. So, hi. Oh, this is hot, this jalapeno thing. I need to move my thing again. I'm learning how to do this. Hmm. Yeah, that seems better. I don't have a drink. I don't have a drink because when I go back in the house, I'm going to have some Diet Mountain Dew. Because it's hard to bring all the stuff outside. You know, I had the tripod, my phone, the plate of yum yums. It is definitely low carb. And when I went for my doctor appointment back in the end of um, October, she said, You can eat as much of this kind of stuff as you want. So here I am. I did my weigh-in this morning, so if you didn't visit my other channel, I weighed 299.4, and I've realized that when I went back, because I document all this stuff, that last week I was 300.0, so I did lose a little weight. I mean... They're 16 ounces in a pound. Now I'm four ounces shy of a pound. So I lost 12 ounces last week. Not quite a pound, but I'll take it. I don't know if I'm going to eat all this. A lot of crunching, munching. Well, if I don't, I would put it in the fridge. And um, I have it later. So that's quite a bit here. Every time I buy carrots, they get this white, white stuff on them. And these are new carrots. I bought these carrots maybe a week ago. Well, last night I was having a very bad night because I was jealous over my friend. What had happened is my boyfriend asked me if I could help find a girl for his brother. 
and so I thought, and um, she's an older girl like me, not as old as me, she's like 52, and she's looking for a true love. And my boyfriend said, his brother's looking for true love, too. So I volunteered to play Cupid. And I created a chat on Facebook so that we could all talk. And then I noticed nobody's in the chat group that I created. But my boyfriend and my friend were online. Nobody's chatting to me. And I'm a really bad person for jumping up to jumping to conclusions and stuff like that. So naturally, I don't know if they were chatting with each other. They may have been, they may not have been. So that put me in this really big funk. Because I haven't had a boyfriend in a really, really long time. And, I don't know, I don't do relationships well because I am a jealous person, I'm a very possessive person, and I need to get over it, I really do. That's why last night I said, I just need to calm the, calm the F down, because I don't want to lose my friend. And I don't want to lose my boyfriend. And I've had all my girlfriends always cheat on me because they always want the guys that I have. I don't know. Somebody else could have the same guy that I have, you know, like another person and and my friend wouldn't want him. But as soon as that guy reverts his attention to me, then they want him. My friends always want my boyfriends. I don't get it, you know? I think they know because I set such high standards for myself that... Hmm. Yeah, it's hard. I can't buy it. But I set such high standard for myself. I think if I pick that per person, then he's got to be a winner, winner, chicken dinner. You know what I mean? Or they, or I don't even know. I mean, honest to God, I don't know, but it gets kind of old. And then I think to myself, well, you're not my boyfriend if my skank friend can steal him, right? Right. But this morning I talked it over with him. He goes, I feel something's wrong between me and him. That's what he said. And I said, no, I'm just feeling a little bit insecure. I didn't tell him exactly what I was insecure about because... We're in like a new relationship. And I don't want to scare him away just yet. Unless he's interested in my friend, but he claims he's not. He video chat with me this morning and he seemed very interested. Oh my god, when he video chats with me, when he looks at me, you know, like how the little thing is like up in the corner there. When he looks at me, his eyes are different. I mean, he just, I don't know. He like lights up or something. I'm not imagining this. I just, I feel his love when he's looking at my picture. Sounds stupid, but it's true. And, um, I think a lot, of ha a lot has to do with my insecurities because I'm older than him. I'm an obese woman. And 
and he's younger and he's gorgeous at least I he's gorgeous in my book and my friend thinks he's gorgeous and you know I'm not saying you know that I'm not a good catch because I am a good catch if somebody can convince me to be caught but I just have it worked up in my head like why would he like me you know and, and he finds me attractive I've talked to him over a year on Facebook and try to hook him up a couple times with different people and he never hooks up. So, I don't know, just last maybe three weeks. I guess he decided he wanted to hook up with me and I kept looking at him and like, dang, he's cute. Why not? Life's too short. Let's see what happens. So that was my reason to hook up. And if I got food all over my face, excuse me, because my screen is black. I can't even see myself, just vaguely. This is really good. I live across the street from a park. So if you didn't see my other channel, we went no, but I live across the street from a park and all the kids are out right now. There are some kids playing basketball. And this is the ghetto area, believe it or not. In this area it used to be known for drug dealing and all kinds of wild stuff. But over the last year we had There's people walking by, so I can't really talk. Anyway, over the last year, we've had drive-by shootings. We've had a stabbing in the park. Right here, close to my house. I mean, oh my God. We have gunshots at night. The neighborhood used to be mostly black, but now it's like evened out, 50-50 Hispanic and 50-50 um, like uh, black, black, black and Hispanic, 50-50. And then a few white people peppered here and there, and I'm one of the peppers. But you know, nobody messes with me. I really don't. If I choose to go to the park, and I say hi to people, they say hi back. Nobody's rude to me. And I have a three wheel bicycle. Because my balance is so bad, I can't ride a regular bike. Well, I probably could, but the fear of crashing and burning outweighs the fun of riding the bike. So I have a three-wheel bike, because when I used to live in Florida, I, have a, I had a three-wheel bike. It was so much fun. So, But when I ride my three-wheel bike in the summertime around here, nobody makes fun of me. And I'm really glad, you know. If they do, I don't hear it. <laughs> Earlier, we had the fire department go that way. Uh, they threw orange cones in the road. So I thought there was a wreck. And I'm barefoot all the time. And I started to walk out there and walk all down there to the corner to see and then the little stones start hurting my foot so